Hi guys, Brendan here from Advanced Radio and today we'll be taking you through a quick installation guide on how to set up your new T-switch with a Jetty radio. The installation is very simple. Currently we've got the switch powered by two AR power packs. This gives you dual battery redundancy because it is a battery backer switch. It also has the feature of providing dual battery telemetry to your radio. So that will give you both the voltages and the capacity on your radio. We're also powering, or today in the, in the demonstration, we're using an REX7 receiver. You can use it with a dual receiver setup, however, for simplicity, we're just using a single. So right now, we've got one of the outputs plugged into a servo connector on the REX7, and then this little cable here is the telemetry cable provided with the T-switch, and that runs all the way back down to the telem port, which I haven't plugged in quite yet. So now we'll turn the system on. There we go. Power up the switch, receiver is bound, and now if we plug in the telemetry cable, bear with me, there we go, you get downlink telemetry straight away. And that's all to do with the auto protocol sensing technology built into the telemetry switch. What that means is you can take this switch and install it into any one of these radios, Jetty, Fataba, FR Sky, JR, Grofner or Spectrum. It'll automatically find the correct telemetry protocol Select it and you get downlink telemetry straight away. The T-switch is available from your local AR dealer or from boomerasi.com.